Hey everybody, I'm here with the 1969 CT70 K0 silver tag. Um, just wanted to point out some of the features that made the silver tags um, more exclusive than the bikes that uh, were produced later on. Uh, speaking of which, this bike is pretty, pretty near and dear to me, pretty rare. Um, the VIN on it is CT70 100 129. Uh, that means it's the 129th bike first produced off the Honda line. I believe that was in June of 1969. So first day production bike makes this pretty special. Let's point out some of the features. I've got a list here. Probably won't have everything, but uh, here's here we go. First of all, we've got the silver tag mounted on the frame neck. Uh, coming up, we've got the thinner handlebar takedown knobs. Um, I've also got this silver uh, wire harness coming on down a little bit more. It's got the NGK spark plug cap moving up to the front. Front fender has the additional lip. Uh, we've got the silver tag horn, which is silver and black there's the back side of it um the headlight ring the chrome ring is a very simple design that they had on the early ones um, the adjustment screw is real simple there's no uh no recess for it at all um, underneath the actual trim ring mounting screw um, that's just welded on um, okay, we've got, uh, got somebody coming by here, we'll let him go. All right, getting down to the wheels, um, pretty significant and, and really super rare. Uh, the hubs on the very earliest CT70 silver tags were flat, the folks, uh, spokes were flat. Um, as are on this one. These wheels were refinished, but they retain, and these were refinished as well, the hardware. It's the number eight hardware. Let's keep going around. These are the thin version of the handlebar takedown knobs. Coming up to the front, again, the flat spokes. Coming back, uh, the cylinder head has the diamond and hash mark configuration. And those came in lots of different uh, versions. You'd have two diamonds, um, three hashes and one diamond, not sure what the rhyme or reason was, but that's how Honda did it early in the day. Uh, it's got the original key hen carb. It's got the air box, and I have verified that that tail piece, which is in the frame, is actually metal versus the uh, later versions, which had the rubber tail piece. There again is the VIN 100, 129. Uh, it's got the one piece standard cover and the chain guard is a two piece uh, which is has spot welds uh, it was kind of a unique design with the silver tags the cut out here um, and the mounting um, handled by jis um, phillips type screws let's move into the back let's get the seat up I understand the fuel tank mounting bracket is shorter in this area than later models. Uh, this is the original seat pan and the silver tags were distinguished by the mounting system studs and nuts. Coming down, we've got the uh, wire harness that comes up through the frame of the bike. Down again, the flat spoke wheels on the rear, the number 
8 hardware. Coming around, this is the original taillight lens and taillight unit, which I think on the silver tags were unique. Maybe one of the experts can, can let me know, but looks like those spot welds, the two-piece bracket was unique to the silver tag. Got the silver tag exhaust with the shortened tip. It's got the flat brake lever. Coming up the side and I'm checking my list, but I'll let you all take a look. And again, please, I know there's some experts out there. Tell me if I missed anything. I know the mounting boss for the uh, engine, let me get around on this side, just reminded me. I don't know if you can see in there, but that mounting boss is square on the silver tags. Sorry about my videography, kind of terrible. Let's just take one more walk around to see if I can think of anything else. Let's let you guys take a good look at the bike. Put the seat down. And of course, once the auction gets started, please hit me up with any questions that you have. Comments are most welcome. Thanks a lot, everybody. Happy bidding.